to call you Audrey. Daniel Goldman, 26, lived alone here for the last four years, paraplegic for the last ten, pretty friendly with his neighbours, pretty self-sufficient. Well, robbery wasn't the motive. Stereo, computer, still here. Ah. Uh, morning. Morning. Mozart piano trio. Finish, Megan? Please tell me she's not carrying a rat. It's a rat. <laughs> Fisk, where's D? That is exactly what I'd like to know. His internet friend called the police at 10 last night. Became concerned when he went off the air so suddenly. Knew he was in a wheelchair, didn't know where he lived. We traced his address through a provider company. He was chatting online. Playing chess. Spinner resigns. I give up. What does that mean? That'll be his handle. Hmm? His nickname. If you're on the internet, you don't use your own name. Oh. For security. Do we have a contact number for the person he was playing with? He's interstate. Neighbours didn't hear a thing. The music was on quite loud. Yes, there was no sign of a forced entry. Um, scratches around the lock could indicate the use of a skeleton key. But... Or the victim could have known his killer. Let him or her in. Possibly. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Good afternoon, Dee. Excuse me. Oh, sorry I'm late, though. I'm as sorry as I am. Yeah. No rest for the ghouls. Hey, new shoes. Woo-woo. Constable. 
I'm sorry. Get on with it. Sorry. You all right? Um, I know him. We talk on the internet. Just, you know? Oh, look, could we please get on with it? I do have things to get back to the lab. Just tell him this, okay? Yeah, I'm right. What? You can bag him now. He's been dead between eight and ten hours. Chiefs, just mind his head, will you? I don't think we should drive home. Look, uh, we won't be much longer. You could come back with me if you... No. Hello. I'll be back. Dee? Yep. How long have you two known each other? Um, maybe ten months. I can't remember exactly. And you, you just met through the internet? I mean, you never met face to face? No. <laughs> we just clicked, you know, with each other. So... Resigns. You think the killer wrote it? Well, apparently the man he was playing with said they were interrupted in the middle of a game. Mm. I wonder if they met on the internet. Mm, if the killer knew his nickname, it makes sense. Mm. Yes, sir. Hayden. Might be interested in this. Shoe protectors, disposable gloves, raincoat. And a disposal unit out the back. You came prepared. So why didn't he dispose of these more carefully? The uh, first blow would have, uh, would have knocked him out. I mean, what, what I mean is that it uh, would have been over very quickly. Of course, uh, the autopsy will be able to confirm. Look, Dee, I, I am very, very sorry that you've lost your friend. Just had an offer for his first exhibition. I was really nervous about it. Yes, well, it's, it's a terrible, uh, terrible waste. Yeah, well, when isn't it? A big part. Do you think some murders are wasteful and others aren't? No, no. no look, I think perhaps you should go home. Oh, all right, go home and forget about it, yeah? No. We're not supposed to feel anything, are we? No, 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 look, that is, that is not what I meant at all. You're obviously not going to be of any use to anyone here. Oh, OK. No, I, I, I think it might be in, no, in, in, in the best interests of everyone. If... That's fine. Multiple lacerations to the scalp. This blow would probably have knocked him unconscious. Multiple depressed linear fractures of the skull. He was hit not less than five times. You see how the wounds are long splits? The edges are abraded? Mm. The fact that the skin around the edges has the appearance of being scraped away from the bone indicates to me that the killer used something with a rounded edge. A baseball bat? Mm. Or a piece of plumbing pipe? You can't be sure. Well, there are no uh, paint flakes or other foreign material? No. There's something else which is rather interesting. Found the wrist. See this? Something's been taken. Yes. I would say a chain. There's a greenish tinge on the skin which suggests brass or copper. Nothing expensive. We didn't find anything like that at the crime scene. Do you think the killer took a trophy? Might have. Be interested in this. 
gravel. I found it in the shoe protectors. Now there was a murder three weeks ago, South Region, turned up red gravel just like this. There was no gravel in the vicinity of either of the murders. So a uh, killer walked it in. Hmm. Have you got any details? Female, Mrs Snow. Now the other thing is, a dice was found at the Snow crime scene. And you found a dice? At the scene this morning. Got it. Snow, Mrs E, 45, divorced, strangled in a bed, killer used wire or similar. Uh, yes, well, I'll be upstairs bearing my nose in a petri dish if you need me. Wedding ring was missing. Another trophy? Maybe, but it could have been expensive, so he'd want to sell it. Was on the internet? All finished. Brand new hard disk. Thank you. Just had new brain inserted. And it didn't even hurt. Dice and red gravel. That's physical evidence. But the internet. We don't even know if Mr Snow had a computer. Detective Dean's getting back to me on that one, sir. Detective Dean? Yeah, he headed up the Snow investigation. He might have something else we can use. Best of luck. Why would two apparently intelligent people put their names and addresses out onto a public forum like the internet? Well, you can go off into private chat areas, libraries. What, like Mrs Snow in the library with the lead pipe? I'm going to find out if Mrs Snow and Spinner were in contact with each other on the internet. Have you been in touch with the computer tech unit? I need a warrant to do the trace. It's worth following up. According to the daughter, Mrs Snow was a keen user of the internet. Well, that narrows the field down to a million. With you? Um, he'll be here in a minute. You both working with Thorne? Yeah, yeah, he, uh, he said to say hello. Salt water and lemon juice. Pardon? Best thing for blisters. Look, uh, do you mind if we get a table? No, sure. Mindy and you. Hey, Miss Evian's having new on the snow case. Well, actually, we thought you might be able to help us. Perhaps you could clarify a few things. What I got's what you've got. I haven't got anything new. You said that Mrs. Snow was on the internet? So was our victim in the wheelchair. I think so. My grandmother's on the internet. So are my two boys. Probably watching blue movies for all I know. Love me. In the Snow homicide, red gravel was found and a dice. They were also found at the scene of last night's homicide in a prominent place. We don't think the dice are a coincidence, Lovey. Last week in the park, young bloke practices karate, got the old heave-ho. Broad daylight. 
dogs, kids, picnics, the whole kit and caboodle. Bloody mess. We found him in the toilet block, garroted. Not a pretty sight. The only thing missing was his black belt. Dice was found in his pocket. Anything else? Like a computer? Not in the park, lovey. Partners, right? Who? Dawn and Dean. Well spotted. We used to call them Jekyll and Hyde. Which was which? Depended on the day. Thanks, Jen. Information on the karate case. Victim was a computer hack. In all three murders, something was taken from the body. Wedding ring, bracelet, belt. Black belt. Personal effects. Trinkets, nothing of any value. Yeah, except for the wedding ring. And then there's the dice. His signature. So we have to assume that they were deliberately placed. Mm-hmm. Homicide. Yep. Great, thanks. Both our victims are involved in the same internet games forum. The killer has to be finding out their names and addresses somehow. What we need to do is get a log of course from the service provider. OK, we're on a roll. I just had a lead from Northern Homicide. Four days ago, 19-year-old male found at home, strangled. In front of the television, wristwatch missing, diced, left beside the body. Four in as many weeks. Yeah. Did he have a computer? We're, we're checking that out. And I'm going to put a task force together. One, I'm on the lookout for motive. Personal vendettas, revenge, jealousy, bad debts, drugs, Tessa. Follow up on that internet connection. Oh, and uh, tell me something. Does Detective Sergeant Dean still look like a rot wheeler on Valley? He was very helpful. Oh, I bet. <laughs> you know, it might be worth our while to get Dee to monitor the games for him. Oh, no, she's too close to this. A friend murdered. It was just someone she met on the internet. People meet on the internet, exchange photographs, Get engaged, married, it can be intense. So wouldn't you want to help catch your friend's killer? Too soon. I'll call you again tomorrow. Um, hope you're taking it easy. I thought I'd take the opportunity to catch up on some paperwork. Mm -hmm, have fun. Long night, huh? Yeah, it's looking like it. Task force haven't been able to make any connection between the victims yet, other than the internet, of course. What's that? Becky, a computer expert. Huh? If you 
you were a serial killer, what would your absolute priority be? Killing. And? Not getting caught. How'd you do it? I'd be mobile. Mobile and random, hard to track. And I'd change my MO each time. Gun this time, knife the next. If you kept getting away with it, you'd go a bit further each time. I mean, each time it'd take more to titillate. Why stop at a quick, clean death? What about souvenirs from the body? Torture. doesn't care. Anybody could have walked past. Particularly since he's at the time to collect his trophy. She has an earring missing. Torn out. Game playing. What's it about? Oh, taking risks. Staying on the edge. Hoping for an audience even. You know, adrenaline hit. Maybe this merchant is playing to some routine. You know, numbers game. Game at least. Chance. Fate. Well, I don't want to discount the internet theory. Two of the victims are in that game, Swan. We know that for a fact. I didn't see a computer at the latest victim's apartment. Did you? <laughs> It's been a long day. Can we get on with it? You joining me for the late session? Same question. Couldn't sleep. What well, do you think this will help? I don't know. Look, have you uh, seen the counsellor? I mean... Yeah, maybe I should just forget the whole police career thing and concentrate on my photography. Spinner reckoned I'd talent. Do you should remember him. Please get on with it. I do have things I have to do. He's doing new I always have his head smashed in, lying in a pool of blood. Dick. What do you do when you see things you don't understand? Doesn't that ever happen? You just sit pouring over your microscopes and your slides and your little chemical explosions waiting for them to give you answers. It's easier for you not to see the whole, isn't it? Just bits. Just bits of his brain and a thread from his shirt collar. Tootsie can dip her hand into the cavity of a body like it was a carcass. None of you see it as a whole person. Look, Dee. You've got a job to do. All right, but I can't do my job. If I get caught up in the person, I, 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 I can't ask the victim what the killer looked like, what he was wearing. I mean, I have to put the pieces of that puzzle together for myself. I have to solve the crime. The only way, D, the only way that I can do that is if I, I concentrate on the physical evidence, the strand of hair, the footprint, the fiber of cloth. Oh, that's when you get excited, is it? Yes, it is. It is. No, because it gives me something. It gives me answers, not questions. The killer had blonde hair. Yes. Do you, do you understand? No, I don't. It's not normal. Probably isn't. She was crying. 
collecting my mail, keeping an eye on my flat while I've been stuck here. I didn't hear the car coming. Simone, I need to ask you a few questions. Did Roberta have a computer? No. She thought I was a geek. Why do you need to know that? Are you on the internet, Simone? I am, but mostly for research. When you say mostly research, what else do you use it for? Games, chat. I've met a few people. Recently? Simone, have you ever given your address out to anyone on the internet? No. Well, there was just one guy who joined the forum recently. He offered to send me a book. A first edition of Game for the Super Intelligent. And you gave him your address? Well, he's overseas, California, and I've got a post office box. That's why Roberta was collecting my mail. I've been hanging out for this book. Is that why she was killed? Simone, do you know his name? Of course. I've got a name. Felix. As in Felix the cat. It's an account number. Whose is it? Simone's. The girl in the hospital. The one I'm starving victim went to visit. Right. The killer got the wrong girl. Simone's the net head. Right. On the games forum all the time. The killer got her address by telling her he lived in California and wanted to send her a book. I thought all internet addresses had a country code. Yeah, they don't always show up on the IRC. Uh, in English? Internet relay chat, when two people are talking in real time. Got it, got it, got it. So he wanted to send her a book? Yeah, well, she has a, a post office box, so she thought it would be OK. Right. And where does our victim fit in? Roberta was picking up Simone's mail while she's in hospital. So the killer waits at the post office for her to make a collection? Yep. Be waiting an awfully long time. It's a game, isn't it? You win some, you lose some. So Felix waits at the post office box and follows her home, except it's not Simone he's following. Oh, that's pretty bad, D. should make sure his work is exhibited. So right, Felix. He made beautiful things. They should be shown. Did Felix see Spinner's work? a sculpture. I don't understand why this happens. We're all vulnerable, Snap. Sometimes we don't realise how vulnerable we are. We become complacent. Our lives are ordinary. I think the path is linear, but it never is. We fail to understand that all of us are extraordinary, or are made extraordinary by circumstances. I like to think that anyway. I like to think that we shall all be remembered somehow, or something. I think I've got something. Felix is online. We need a name and address. I'll notify the computer tech unit. This is 
use it. Open up, please! What? Homicide, Mr. Lilly. What do you do on the internet, Felix? I told you before, my name's not Felix. Who have we got? Robert Lilly. We are uh, traced him through the games form. Four of your victims used the same games forum. <laughs> what victims? And your account number was in use when two of the victims were online. So we know you use the internet. Okay, so I surf the net for pornography. It's the most harmless sex you can have. Oh, I mean, you people, I oh, know, you want to make it dirty and perverted. But I'm not perverted. You'll find, Detective, that uh, most of us enjoy a little pornography. Why don't you just tell us where you keep your computer, Felix? It's been in the repair shop for three weeks now. It has, you can check. And I told you my name's not Felix. I don't think so. Never got his hand off his mouse. So if you're not using it, who is? It's been in the repair shop for three weeks now. So if you're not using it, who is? Finished? Brand new hard disk. Well, it'll be half an hour to 40 minutes. Then there's no way. Well, it has to be someone at the repair shop swapping hard disks. But it takes too long. The killer's hit twice in the same week, and we're assuming he's used different computers each time. There has to be easier ways. Well, well if he wants to access the internet via other people's accounts, there are easier ways. Well, why didn't you say so? Well, you did not ask. You just said, show me how to swap a hard disk. Come on, oh, Fisk, help us, well, please. Oh, 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 oh. Well, um, well, if the killer's computer literate, it may just be a matter of accessing the hard disks and getting the, the passwords needed to, uh, to, to, to log onto the internet. Or, or some of them have um, uh, automatic log on, uh, so they don't need passwords at all. Or, no, here's the thing, here's the thing. He could be accessing their personal journals and making educated guesses at passwords. I mean, <laughs> you would be surprised at uh, the people who are unimaginative enough to use... The, the, the latest girlfriend's names or the or children's names. All the fun of the chase. We'd better bring in the repair shop owner. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Right, well, I'll, I'll put this back together then. That's Got right. Yes? yes? Yes. Terrific. How many computers have you got in for repair at the moment? 22. Any complaints about them being tampered with? Oh, one or two. Such as? Hard drives mucking up, that kind of thing. We're particularly interested in anything relating to the internet. Well, a couple of customers reckon their service providers were charging them for time they hadn't used. I mean, when their computers were being repaired. We'll need a list of names and addresses of your employees. That may be a little difficult. I mainly employ students. I pay them cash so there's no questions asked. Well, we'll need a list of names then. We'll also need a list of all your clients in the last three months, the names of people whose computers are in for service at the moment. That'll take me half the night. You'll be doing us an enormous favour. What would you like to be, cat or mouse? Mouse, please. Feeling brave? said you'd never played. Maybe you're just a good teacher. Mm. Ah, thank you. The list from the repair shop's come through. Mm. <laughs> I think it's marked the customers that have complained. Very helpful. How do you do that? What? Put on that little smile of yours and get your own way. My father always taught me to catch more flies with honey than you do with vinegar. Right. How many names there are? Yeah, killer keeps changing accounts. Can you see if any of his clients are on the internet? Because if they are, they shouldn't be. The computers are in for repair. Wow! Under play again. 
time is it in Helsinki? It's almost time I was at work. Don't you ever sleep? Not if I'm losing. I have a book of art prints. I was going to send it to Spinner. A first edition. Would you like it? Love it. Where will I send it? We don't want you ruining your eyes. Hey guys, one of the numbers you said shouldn't be online. Well, they're online right now. Homicide, Hayden. Computer tech unit. Oh, we need to trace. They're doing it. Going on. It's online against someone you. Yeah. Account. Three, four, five, seven. Yeah. Your name and address. Are you sure? Right, thank you very much. It's D. Well, you didn't ask her to work on this. I did not. Come on, move it. I'll organise back up. Come on, answer the phone. She wouldn't have given her address out to anyone, would she? I hope not. Oh, all right, all right. Hi, Tessa. Look, I'm really sorry I didn't get back to you yesterday. I was... Um, about 40 minutes ago, I think. until he won. I didn't win this time. 
Oh. Ah, yes. Felix had a brain tumour. Malignant? Oh, yes. He'd have been dead in a matter of months if... pernicious things. Do you think it was affecting his reason? It's hard to say. Pain medication often causes some behavioural changes, and he was on a lot of pain medication. But we're talking about something else. Is it over? And finished. Good. So, changed our mind about leaving, have we? What? Well, stands to reason. I mean, I haven't received notification of your resignation, so I can only deduce from that that uh, there will be no resignation. Would I be correct? If I'm going to have to put up with you, the least you can do is buy me a beer. Hmm. I wouldn't mind some company. Yeah, I think so. You know, if you don't stop being nice to me, I may have to say something complimentary about those new shoes of yours. About what? They look very... comfortable. Thank you.